So I asked the studio not to make a sequel. And uh, <laughs> how wrong I was. <laughs> the world has a way of changing, but there's one thing that always stays the same. The Fast and the Furious, the original, turns 20 this year. Any cherished memories that you have from shooting the original? Oh my God, so many incredible memories. I remember first Paul and I meeting, and there was a strange feeling like we would be brothers for life. I know what you're doing. I owe you a 10 second car. I've had so many great brothers and friends in my life, but there was something different about that bond, and I had no idea that we would come to be the definition of brotherhood for this millennium. I don't have friends. I got family. I have amazing memories, not only of shooting the franchise, but of promoting the franchise, because that's also like a huge part of it. And, and I remember going to the Deauville Film Festival with Paul and Michelle and Vin, and at the time we were hanging out with like Heath Ledger and Tara Reid, and it was just such a an amazing moment in time. And I also remember shooting in Brazil where I grew up and what a badge of pride that was for me because it was like a homecoming and um, Fast and Furious 5 is also one of my favorites along with 9 now. There are many, many memories that I have. And it, I mean, it's been half my life now, which is crazy. You need to get some sleep. And you definitely, definitely need a shower. I can't help but feel uh, like sentimental around um, the whole like rescue mission to get Ramsey because it was such an epic sequence, like throwing cars out of planes, you know, all the amazing fights uh, between like Paul and Tony Jaa in the back of the, the bus that Ramsey was being held in. And I just remember like just thinking it was such an epic set piece. And I was like, oh, and that's all to come and get, <laughs> to come and get me. <laughs> it's quite fun. What are you going to do? I want to put on your helmet for this one. It would be more of the times that happen off screen than there would be on screen. We've had so many barbecues together and family outings and birthdays and celebrations. All right, all right, all right, fire them up! I would say it's a culmination of the time we spend off camera than it is the time that we spend on camera. Please tell me that's not a Pontiac Fiero strapped to a rocket engine? Impressive, I know. No. No, that's, that's not impressive. You know, the, when we did Fast Five, that was really the only film that all of us kind of lived together in the same area. So, you know, we hung out together all the time. Like, we go to the mall together, go to the movies together, go buy toothpaste together. And, you know, that was when we actually, I think everyone became a family. It's like when we accepted everyone in each of us for, you know, who we were, gave you time to eat together and spend time together. Where now, the movies are all over there, they're so big, you know, so we're in hotels here. We don't have that time to, you know, have those memories. The most important thing in life will always be the people in this room. Salute me, familia. Salute. Salute. As a filmmaker or, you know, in Hollywood, it could be a very lonely place. And to be able to do a 15-year run where we've literally been able to grow up together and then we started our family and now we have kids and our kids are growing together. Um, it was very special and, and I think that's always been kind of the, the, the spirit of why we make these movies. If we do this, we risk everything. Didn't expect this to go 20 years. Yeah. In fact, after the first movie was released, I was still under the impression that franchises are if you sequelize the movie, you destroy the opportunity of the movie being a classic. And so I wanted the first movie to be a classic. And so I asked the studio not to make a sequel. And uh, <laughs> how wrong I was. <laughs> when you're a young actor and you come from the theater world and you have this high expectations about how Scripts should be perfect by the time they get to you, but that's not real. You gotta do the work. Yeah. You find it on set, and sometimes you find a brother on set too. That's and sometimes incredible. you find a, a brother on set uh, that you never imagined in your wildest dreams would be so important to your very existence.